To be a forensic scientist, the requirement is a science degree from uh, like a bachelor's degree. But um, for me personally, I also additionally went and got a master's degree um, as well. It's not required, but it is something that I think helped me get into the door and prepared me for the work and the process. Um, so advice I would give would be to stay in the sciences. Um, you really can't focus in on anything specific in forensics in high school, so you would want to stay in a science-related field. Um, I was interested in particular in biology, so I continued my path in biology. I really didn't decide what I wanted to do in forensics or even get into forensics until midway through my college career, so getting my bachelor's. So. I would say stay interested in science, um, maybe even attend some forensic seminars if they're available in your area um, that you can maybe get your foot in the door and see if you even like the, the forensic related fields. Oh, sorry. I was oh. just going to add, um, get involved with research projects at your, at your college, working with an advisor. Um, like Bobby says, specifically with the sciences and if you can do any work involving instrumentation, um, that would be great. Also, just getting involved in internships that are available in the forensic community would also give you a really good idea of kind of what um, kinds of things we do here for our job. And apart from the educational background, what a lot of young folks don't realize these days is that you also need to be very conscious of the rest of your life that's going on. Um, they do a very extensive background check when you get involved in any kind of law enforcement work. So you need to keep that in consideration. Don't get involved in things that you know that are, are breaking the law. Don't get involved with, you know, uh, you know, uh, sounds like a cliche, but you know, don't do drugs, stay in school, but those things do matter. Um, keep your driving record clean. Things like that matter. They're looking for people that they can trust and that can pass, a, a, like I said, a pretty extensive background check. And, you don't think that's going to affect you now in high school, but it will. Those things in high school and college do follow you. So it's important to keep your background nice and clean. So when you get the education that you need, then you go through your background and you're not disqualified because you got involved with some things that you shouldn't have, you know, many years back. Actually, mine was kind of a fluke. I was in the military, came out of the military and was looking to get back into civil service. and. They had a trainee position, which back when I joined, there wasn't the CSI craze. So there were really no courses that you can take. Everything was on the job. So I just kind of fell into it like that. I said accident because I actually fell into it. <laughs> uh, I have a degree in microbiology, and I was all set to use that degree in some other field other than forensics. And I saw an ad in the newspaper that said science background, and just filled out an application, eventually got a call and uh, ended up working here. It's been 28 years ago is when I got hired. I mean, I wouldn't say Hollywood was all that bad, I mean, per se. Um, I mean, when I first got into forensics, it's when the first CSI show kind of started, you know, the normal, the regular CSI Las Vegas, and it did give me interest in a field that I actually wasn't completely aware of and now there's like multitude of shows I don't even know how many you can count now right now um, which might be a little overdone in my opinion but um, I mean what they do on TV is real I would say um, but like Brett was saying it's like we can't finish it in 24 hours we all work together as a team we work with our investigators we work with our DA sometimes um, to help bring together a case so they can present it in court and when, another thing that we hear a lot um, from the public and from our family that we never ever want to try to um, discount at all is they say, wow, you've got the coolest job ever. And we say, yeah, we do. <laughs> I love my job because I love learning and teaching others and doing something that helps the community. I love my job because uh, when I show up for work every day, I really don't really know what's going to happen that day. I love my job because Forensics is, to me, an ever-changing, ever-developing field. Um, I'm always learning something new every time I come into work, and I really do enjoy coming into work a lot. I love my job, especially when I hear the results of uh, a positive outcome of a case that I worked on. 
Um, a case from 25 years ago is probably my most memorable case because uh, it involved a little girl and I received a letter from the family signed by the little girl um, a couple weeks after it occurred um, thanking me for the work I did.